What's up, everyone? Welcome to my channel, Tam Psych Advice. I'm Tamara, and I'm so happy that you're joining me today. For those of you who love Myers Briggs, I'm an ENFJ, and that's my personality type. And I like to do ENFJ Life because it gives me an opportunity to kind of share some personal stories because sometimes I'm not the greatest at that or some of the things that I talk about on this channel don't lend themselves to that as well. And so I just wanted to talk about prayer. Like, you know, I'm a Christian, so I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins so that I can have everlasting life in heaven. And I believe in the Trinity, which is the Holy Spirit. I feel the presence of the Holy Spirit all the time. Um, you know, God sent the Holy Spirit to comfort us and to help us. I believe in God the Father as well. And so, um, yeah, but I believe there's one God and it's the Trinity. So anyway, um, so today I just want to talk about prayer and just some very, very, just give you a couple of examples of super simple prayers. You know, I think there are some prayers that, you know, are, if it's God's will, he does it. God sees the big picture. He knows things that we don't know. And so he knows what's best um, for us. But sometimes it's fun and it's enjoyable to just say simple prayers to, you know, and I'll always say in Jesus name, you know, because I'm acknowledging that that Jesus died on the cross for my sins. I think with prayer, prayer is just talking to God. I'm not a fancy prayer person. And by fancy, I mean, you know, some people are like they know how to like really pray and get into their prayers. For me, it's just a conversation with God. It's very simple. I say what's on my mind. I developed a relationship with him and I just I just talk, you know, uh, for me, it's, it's, you know, it just like any relationship, you develop it by, by spending time, right? And so I have developed a relationship with God where I understand when he's telling me certain things. Um, and also he answers my prayers, you know, many, many of them, even some that, you know, you might think, what kind of a prayer is that? But, you know, for me, it's that other layer. We're here on earth, but, but, you know, the Bible talks about prayer being the secret place because nobody has to know that you're saying a prayer right now, that you're talking to God. It's between you and him. He wants to develop a personal relationship with you. And so it's something I need. And, you know, for me, he created this world. He created the earth. This is his, this is his world. It's not mine. And so I want to honor him and respect him and have conversations with God. I'll give you a couple of examples of simple prayers that, that I prayed recently. So, you know, there's been a lot of, um, chances, for example, to volunteer and a lot of people in need right now with the COVID pandemic and people losing jobs and all this kind of stuff. And so um, I was in a situation where I was helping with a situation with a lot of cars coming by and I'm standing on this curb. And while I'm standing on this curb, there's a bottle of water. And so these cars are coming by and maybe it's crazy, but the whole time I'm thinking, I do not want somebody to hit that bottle of water because what will it do? Will they bust the water open and then the water splashes all over me? Or will they hit it and the water bottle hits me? And I just couldn't focus because I kept staring at this bottle of water. And so finally I said, God, can you please send somebody to pick this water bottle up because I couldn't do it at the time. And, uh, you know, I just, you know, in Jesus name, thank you. Amen. And then I just let it go, kept working, whatever. Well, a few minutes later, guess what happens? A lady walks by and I've done this many times and there's been paper, trash, all kind of stuff 
on the ground and no one ever notices it, touches it, picks it up. She just suddenly comes through and starts picking up trash. And she said, you know, and I've seen this lady before and she's never done this before. And she said, you know, I, I had, when I lived at so-and-so, I used to pick up trash and people would say things to me or what, you know, about it or whatever. And so she picked up pieces of trash and then she picked up the water bottle. She poured out the water and then she went and threw it all in the trash and left. And I'm like, man, that is the cool thing about prayer is it's easily accessible. It's there for you. Uh, God will help you when you need it. Even if, even though it may seem small, you can really ask him whatever you want. You know, the other day, um, I made a video. You can check it out. It has a cat that was on my porch, which is really rare. I don't, you know. But anyway, I just, one day last week, I said, it would be so cool if I, if a black cat could be in my yard. And I don't know why I said that, you know, as an ENFJ, sometimes you can have some foresight into some things. You know, the Bible says God will give you the desires of your heart. Some people say, well, he gives you that desire and then you want it. Some people say you have the desire and then he fulfills it. So it can probably work both ways. I don't know why I said that, you know. Well, guess what happened the next day? And I'll see if I can put a picture of it so you can see. Because I took a picture. <laughs> I was kind of far away. Um, but the next day, I came home. What was in my yard? A black cat. Never seen this black cat before in my life. And so, you know, I just want to encourage you to say your prayers. Talk to Jesus if there's something that you need or something that you want, it sure is nice to have that layer because sometimes people may not understand you, but God does, or people may not be able to help you, but God will. And he does work through people. As you see, the lady came by and she picked up, you know, the water bottle, you know, that had to be prayer. So anyway, you know, be sure to share this with someone that you think would enjoy hearing it. Definitely like the video. Make sure you subscribe because why not? I do a lot of videos and I think you'll enjoy them. And so um, I will see you guys next time. Check out my book, Flip the Script on Love. It's about love and helping you um, to heal from broken heart or whatever it is that you're going through. I think we all have experienced that and we all need that, right? So check it out. It's on Amazon. Oh, and by the way, put in the comment section maybe something that you've prayed about that that has come true for you. All right. Now, this is bye for real. Bye.